of 2012, we're deinstalling Julia Child's kitchen because we are moving it to a larger gallery which will open August of 2012. And so what we're doing is taking each item, each tool, down from its pegboard or off the counter and we're cleaning and assessing the condition. The takedown of the kitchen is a labor-intensive, time-consuming process that requires a lot of resources. We need a lot of help identifying problems and cleaning the objects. We were fortunate enough to have some volunteers and some students who have an interest and background in collections and conservation, and then they're doing some assessing and some cleaning. Helping with Julia adds to my collections management experience. It teaches me how to help pack such a complex object uh, with so many parts and pieces and to safely uh, move it to prepare for a new exhibit. I'm currently with this project helping pack it up. First thing, come in, drop all my stuff off. You don't want anything coming in contact with the objects. And then, uh, most important, you need to put some gloves on. We start by picking a small section of a wall. So we started over by the door on wall A, and we've been working in a circle around the kitchen. We pick a few artifacts from a small section, and we carefully remove them from the exhibit. We put them on a tray, and we're gonna move them out to these tables, to our work area, where we can then dust them and clean them. We use the vacuum to really get all the dust out. And then we're going to pack all the objects up um, for kind of a temporary store. We've had a lot of people come through just inquiring, asking about what we're doing and when the exhibit's going to open up again. I think at first I noticed that they're a little disappointed that they can't come into the exhibition space, but then they're excited that they get to see the takedown. Objects are closer because we're working on the table. Uh, you can see how we handle them. I have looked out occasionally and I do notice some of the museum visitors come in and they're wondering, you know, what's going on? Why are the doors locked off? And I've seen a few people, they're either really surprised or confused. But luckily, you know, it will be open again and they could come back and see it. I think the appeal of Julia Child's kitchen is that it's an everyday kitchen. It's a kitchen that's not super fancy, doesn't have high tech appliances. It's a normal everyday working kitchen. Any kitchen that you and I would probably ever see. And you can see throughout the kitchen her personal touches. She liked cats. She had several cat prints and cat images throughout her kitchen. It's, it's very smartly done. She raised the countertops to her own height. She gave herself a lot of working space with the butcher block countertops. Just being in there, you notice how easy it would be to work in the kitchen. Yesterday I got to look through some of her recipe books while I cleaned them and it's very interesting to see the objects that she interacted with and left things like her signature or a little mark on. The bookshelf itself is its such a complex object. There's her cookbooks and there's her college textbooks. There's maps that she used when driving through France with Paul. Uh, she also corrects spelling mistakes. That was pretty fun. Julia Child's kitchen is a modern kitchen. It's a late 20th century kitchen, so there's not only pots and pans that are aluminum or cast iron, but also plastic. So that's one of the processes we're doing, is looking at the plastics, the vinyls, the wood, the metal. One thing that we encountered was her two joy of cooking cookbooks. The dust jacket, which is plastic, has started to come apart and is stuck to another book. That was a problem, figuring out the best way to maintain and maybe conserve those books. I think you think of all the objects as objects regardless of how old they are. They all need to have the same care and they're all just as significant. The material in the kitchen and the kitchen itself will go into temporary storage space here in the building until our new gallery is done. The museum is going through a renovation this wing. And we saw that as an opportunity to really enlarge the story of food and food in America. The, the gallery is much larger. It really puts Julia Child, her influence 
in American food culture in context. It's not only an exhibit about Julia, but really an exhibit about food in America between 1950 and 2000.